In the mystical realm of Eldoria, a young and passionate adventurer named Kale embarks on an online quest to find the fabled Heart of Ancients, a legendary treasure said to possess unimaginable power. Armed with a map passed down from generation to generation, Kale explores enchanted forests, treacherous mountains, and hidden caves. Guided by a talking crow named Thorn, Kale encounters magical creatures and sneaky traps on their way. As they travel deeper into the heart of Eldoria, Kale and company uncover secret clues that lead them to a forgotten temple beneath the roots of an ancient tree. The trail eventually leads to the towering peaks of the Sky Peak Mountains, where Kale and company discover a hidden room guarded by a fearsome dragon. Through wit and bravery, Kale managed to earn the dragon's respect, and that gave them access to the chamber. Inside the room, Kale saw the awe-inspiring Heart of Ancients, a luminous jewel that pulsed with magic. As a result, the gem reveals its true purpose, to heal the land of Eldoria, restoring balance and harmony to nature. With their mission accomplished, Kale and company return home as heroes, their hearts forever attached to the magic and wonder of their fantastical adventure. For making the animation, here we go through four steps or four stages. Well, for the first step, we make the script first. The second step, we will make the drawing in Leonardo AI. The third step, we will make the image into a moving video with Runway.ai. And the fourth or final step is editing the video in the CapCut application. Immediately we enter in the first step, namely writing a script. So, to make the story script or the script, I use AI, namely ChatGPT. Here I use the ChatGPT website. We can first open Google Chrome and type ChatGPT to find the website. So, I'll give an example right away, I instruct ChatGPT to make the script. For example like this, friends, make a fantasy story about a young man looking for treasure. I immediately ordered it or I generated it. And let's see the results. So, ChatGPT has written it down here, and this is a very long story, friends, this is enough for one video. Immediately, we order it again to make it even more detailed, yes, the narration and pictures are made in more detail and a script is made. Which we just have to run, there's no need to separate the storyline and the pictures later. What's it like? So, you just write it like this, make the story above into a script with a narrator and a scene. You immediately send it to ChatGPT and this is the result, friends. This was the script and the scene that has been separated, so the narrator is part of the narrator, that is, we will fill it with text to speech sounds. For the bottom again, this is a scene or scene that we will later visualize as an image or video. We take the scene that we will generate in Leonardo AI. So, we'll just copy this later, friends, we'll copy this one, we'll copy it and then we'll move it to the notes so it doesn't get lost, okay? We copied it earlier. Then we transferred it to our smartphone notes application. Then we moved it here, we gave it a title first, friends, then we pasted the script here. And this is the result, friends. Now we come to the second step, we just go to the Leonardo AI website. So, let's just create the characters here, okay, character descriptions. Here we will try to create characters and generate images in Leonardo AI. Well, the character name is an example like this. Kale is a handsome young adventurer with brown hair, wearing a dark blue jacket and carrying a dark brown backpack. For example, I added here, in 3D animation, handsome, anime, cartoon, light effect so that later, the results will be even better. So, here we basically make the characters first, yes, those in the story earlier. Next here, we can set it first. What will this setting look like? What size will it be? And what will the result look like? Well, we will set in this setting. We click settings, then here we can choose the number of images too, and for the size here we choose 16 to 9, because we want to make a long video later. Next, okay, let's come back. After that, we can simply generate it. So, for this model, you can just change it to a 3D animation style or whatever, there are lots of them. For example, I will create a 3D animation style. Like this next, we try to generate. This is the result, we are waiting, friends. Are the results as we expected or not? And this is the result, yes, it's pretty cool. 
well, you can see for yourself that the results are pretty good. After that, you can just download these characters, you download both of them. After this, you don't have to leave Chrome. And don't delete the prompt first, so that the character image is consistent, that is, the image we produce. All we have to do is copy the script that we made in ChatGPT earlier. How to do it? Then we go to the notes, then we'll copy it, friends. This is the opening, okay. Let's copy this scene. Or what we will visualize will become an image on Leonardo, yes, we will copy it and we will return to the Leonardo AI website. Well, let's just add it here, friends. We immediately add like this, we paste. So, like this, you just generate again. And this is the result, my friends. So basically, I generated this character walking in a forest and this is the result. That's why the character is still consistent. His face is the same as the character below, yeah, he's walking in the forest and you can just download this. Like this and download it. Do it until all the stories are finished, friends. And follow the scene that was prepared from ChatGPT earlier. The important thing is that you don't delete the prompt on the 3D animation limitation. Yes. If you want your character to be consistent in a scene or an image later. Yes, if for example, you want to make a scene for this character or change the scene, yes, all you have to do is add it after this light effect text. So what you can delete is this in the opening scene, okay. Just delete it like this. So, you delete it up to this 3D animation section. So, don't delete this 3D animation section if you want the character to be consistent. Yes, I mean consistent, the character doesn't change, friends like this. So all that's left is to copy again the script that we prepared in our notes application earlier. You need to know, for Leonardo AI, 150 tokens are provided every day and each generate is around 16 tokens, friends. So make the most of it. If you want to use the free one, we can copy again, okay, friends, at the bottom, what we didn't copy before, let's copy and generate again, okay, like this. So, we generate it like this, then we copy it like this, friends. Now, if it's done, let's go back to Leonardo AI's website. Then paste it again in the section after this animation text. Well, like this, we paste. After that, we can generate again, click generate. So, just wait until the process is complete, my friends. If some of you don't understand, which part of the script was copied for Leonardo's AI? Now, for those who copied it here, friends, not in the narrator section. There's a narrator and a scene, so what you copy is in the scene or background, and you combine it with the character script that we created earlier. Well, this is the first build, the second build. And the third build are the same, all the characters are consistent. So, here are the results, pretty good. And this character is consistent, meaning that the character doesn't change, friends. Well, you can use this trick to use characters that won't change according to the storyline. Well, then we proceed to the third step. In this third step, we will make the image that we have produced from Leonardo AI move or become a video using the AI site. So, for the name of the site, Runway, friends, you can just type it into Google Runway ML. Or you can just click on the link that I have provided in the description below this video. Later the main or first appearance will be like this, so we can immediately try this for free, or we can just log in directly using the email account that we already have. So the main display of the AI website will be like this, friends, and here we are given 125 credits or coins for free. Well, this system is like Leonardo's, but this research is not per day, but per month, so make the most of it. Immediately, you select the image to video. Actually, there are many features here, such as text to video and others. Immediately, you click on the image to video, because we are going to turn the image into a moving video. It will look like this. So, you just upload the file right away, friends. Or upload the animated image that we made earlier. 
Well, the first picture that we will make is this picture, friends. Wait until the process is complete. After the upload is complete, an image will appear here, and you click Generate. Now, after you have the image, you can just click on the Generate one. Like this, all you have to do is wait until the process is complete, all you have to do is wait, it's loading, friends. This is for the time it depends on your internet connection, yes, if your internet connection is good, it must be fast. So, after it's finished, the result will be like this, can you preview it first, can you play it first? If the results are satisfactory, you can just download it right here, there is a download button, immediately click download and download. Later it will be downloaded automatically. So, if you want to generate again, or want to generate another image, you can just change the image here, delete it, then upload the file again from your gallery. Like this, we click again, then we generate again. Now, anyway, until the story is over, my friends. The duration is only 4 seconds. You immediately generate again, okay, just wait for the process, friends. This is the result of the video that I generated from the second image earlier. Well, this is pretty good too, you can just download the picture again. And once generated it requires 5 coins or 5 credits, friends. And we are given 150 credits every month. Yes, it's normal, because it's free. If you want more, yes, please pay. If you want to generate again, all we have to do is delete it again like this, do it until all the images have become all videos. Next. After we have made the image into a video, we will proceed to the fourth step, which is to make the text to speech, I will make the text to speech in play.ht so that later you can just edit the video in CapCut, even though CapCut can also voice over but only can be used on desktop. So. In this fourth step, we will first open play.ht in Chrome, make sure you have registered with a Gmail account. Here I paste the narration. Then select a sound and mark it for all. Then we generate and export. And next, we open the CapCut application. Upload the results of the ML runway and we immediately change this ratio, we change it to 16 to 9. Adjust the sound and animation that we made earlier from the ML runway earlier, or the AI website. For example, here the video is only 4 seconds long in this section, we can copy it twice, we click on the animation, we copy it like this, then we click on the animation again, then we copy it again, ok, we copy it like this to make it longer. We also copy this like this. Ok. Let's copy this, and we'll copy it, okay? We'll copy everything into a long video, friends, according to the narrative. So, the result will be like this, okay, that's good. And next, we can also edit using sound effects. Well, for example here I will use Michael's sound effect. So later the result will be like this, like that, friends. I will try to love all of Michael's sound effects. After that, we can immediately provide automatic information. Click the text, then select the auto caption. Here, we select the English language, then let's start. So, just wait for the process to finish. When it's finished, like this, we can edit it too, friends. For the font style, what color you want is up to us. Well, like this. And for the strokes, this is the outline, we can use black. Yes, like this, guys. So, you can just edit it. Then, for the font, don't forget to change it too. You can do this, I will use the font from Nonito, okay? And as for the size, I'll enlarge it a bit. Well, like this, and the result will be like this later, my friends. Good job. After that. We can also provide sound effects or other back sounds. As for the background, you can just download it on the YouTube audio library, which is complete and definitely safe. So, adding the background is really easy. All you have to do is click on the audio, then click on the sound. Then all you have to do is select from your device. This is the back sound, the back sound that you should have downloaded from the YouTube audio library. 
If you have added the back sound, don't forget to also give your channel logo. Okay, guys, once it's like that, then you can just export it. Hopefully what I have said is useful for all my friends. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss the latest updates from the How to Art I channel. I say goodbye, and see you in the next video. In the mystical realm of Eldoria, a young and passionate adventurer named Kale embarks on an online quest to find the fabled Heart of Ancients, a legendary treasure said to possess unimaginable power. Armed with a map passed down from generation to generation, Kale explores enchanted forests, treacherous mountains, and hidden caves. Guided by a talking crow named Thorn, Kale encounters magical creatures and sneaky traps on their way. As they travel deeper into the heart of Eldoria, Kale and company uncover secret clues that lead them to a forgotten temple beneath the roots of an ancient tree. The trail eventually leads to the towering peaks of the Sky Peak Mountains, where Kale and company discover a hidden room guarded by a fearsome dragon. Through wit and bravery, Kale managed to earn the dragon's respect, and that gave them access to the chamber. Inside the room, Kale saw the awe-inspiring Heart of Ancients, a luminous jewel that pulsed with magic. As a result, the gem reveals its true purpose, to heal the land of Eldoria, restoring balance and harmony to nature. With their mission accomplished, Kale and company return home as heroes, their hearts forever attached to the magic and wonder of their fantastical adventure.